What's up guys, Alex here and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a what's in my tech bag for mid 2019. This is one of my favorite series. I'm super excited. Let's get right into it. Welcome back guys, let's not waste any time. I've got a ton of stuff to show you guys. Nothing in this video is sponsored. Nothing in this video has any kind of ad to it. This is just my favorite tech I'm using right now. If you want any information, I'll have as many links as I can down below. They're Amazon affiliate links, so if you wanna use them, it would be awesome because it helps support this channel too. But without any further ado, let's get into it. So this is my tech bag. This is the fully kitted out. This isn't some minimal carry this is the big one. So this is all the stuff I've been using lately. This guy makes sure I have all that I need. So this is from a company called Slotra and I don't think they make it anymore actually. And I know that's a huge bummer and it almost made me change my bag, but I wanted to be real about what I was using. So I did find a second site that you can order it from and you can find a used Amazon one as well. Uh, but I just want to be clear. I haven't tried this luggage site. I just found it on there. So I will leave a link down below. Use it at your own risk but this bag is incredible. So like I said, it's from a company called Slotra and it's like a peak design off-brand kind of a thing. A lot of cool features similar to it. It's weather sealed. Even the zippers along the top has like the special plastic coating. So your tech inside is gonna be safe. The back has plenty of cushion, which is great because I load this thing up like crazy. So lots of cushion and good ventilation so it doesn't get too hot when you wear it. And it even has a little secret backpack zipper back here. It opens up in half and this right side has some cool slots but let's get into what we have in the front all right so starting off in the front zipper here I've got my charger now I always love to have my charger at the front because I need it a lot so there's a standard MacBook charger and then I also have this cool cable I'll leave a link down for it below it wasn't too expensive but it's one of those cables that has a magnetic USB-C end to it and I love that because I miss MagSafe so this is cool it's also braided super sturdy and a cool cable so I'll leave a link down below for that now up top we've got a lot of stuff I've got my airpods use these all the time I realize that a ton of people have them uh, and they're not the best sounding out there but their convenience makes up for all of that and I also like being able to have them when I need to hear my surroundings so love those guys I've got a microfiber cloth to keep all my tech clean and fingerprint free I've got this chafin chiffon uh, like cable it's cool because it has a USB A and then like anything else you need two micro USBs a mini USB USB C and lightning so no matter what I've got a cable to charge it that thing is super cool I've got my phone which is the iPhone 7 plus I know it's not a new phone I love this thing though my goal was to keep it and save up so hopefully this year it's gonna be a year I can upgrade hopefully Google or Apple will do something really cool to get excited about Dave 2d's worrying me a little bit but I think it's gonna be good uh, anyway I've also in here got some pens and highlighters uh, I love my highlighters and pens I like taking physical notes I think it's a good way to stay on top of stuff plus I tend to remember it a little better I'm also using a new pen it's the pilot uh, I'll leave a link down below for it I don't know if it's better than the G2 pens that I love but honestly no complaints so far it's a pretty sweet pen so I got some of those for my notes and then I also last but not least have a thumb drive this is a USB 3.0 128 gig thumb drive I find that if I have one of these I use it and when I don't I wish I did so I always keep this around just in case so that is the top pocket now on the side here it's got this sweet compartment where you can charge any of your devices so it's got this little socket and so I put in here my big Bertha battery bank this thing is massive so this is a 20,000 milliamp hour battery bank and I realize that's overkill for a lot of people but it's got four USB 3.0 charging ports and it charges with two micro USBs so you can charge it quickly plus it's got a flashlight this thing can charge your phones your iPad and anything you need several times over so I love this guy it's a great great tool to have plus it makes sure that I'm never out of juice uh, also in here I've got a couple of dongles because I'm on that Apple life alright so that's the side one now for the cool part and this is the part which actually makes it 
like I said, a budget version of a Peak Design backpack. If you have money for a Peak Design backpack, don't think this will directly replace it because those are incredible. And you should absolutely go with it if you can. But for the quality you're getting at like 45 bucks for this guy, it does an incredible job of coming close. So here's what I'm talking about. On the side here, on the opposite end, you can unzip it to find out that there are some slots. And these are full pass-throughs. So you've got the whole midsection here to kind of organize all your stuff so in the bottom here I have my USB like hub of all of my main cables I need this was in my tech essentials kit from a long time ago uh, basically every cable I could need is in here I've got micro USB lightning USB-C and all of my hard drive cables plus a little wall port. Just wanna make sure everything I need is with me no matter what. I like being prepared. You'll notice a theme uh, with that here. Uh, also next to that I have some incredible, incredible in-ear monitors. These are from a company called Allclair. Uh, again, nothing here is sponsored, but I have to brag on them because they're an amazing company. These are custom in-ear monitors, which means you have to get some uh, ear molds done at a audiologist or an ear doctor. Make sure that you send them off. You can customize them however you want. And the reason I take these with me everywhere, one, I do live music, I do professional recording and studio work. So I needed something that was really high quality sound. Uh, and they also work really great to block out all the noise. Uh, whenever I'm anywhere working on stuff, these things are incredible. So love these guys. The sound quality is off the charts. Check out All Clear. It's the best bang for your buck, honestly, that you can get for custom in-ear monitors. And the sound it's seriously the best sounding headphones I've ever used. Uh, they're not cheap, but if you're in that field or you're an audiophile, definitely worth it. All right, so the main section here is kind of my favorite toy. And I say toy, but this is a workhorse and a professional machine. This is the Sony A7R 3 This is what most of my stuff's gonna be shot with. I'm shooting with the Panasonic G7 right now, but I shot with this in our last video, and this has been what I've been doing all of my professional photo work on, all of my client work, everything I can, it's done on this. And I know in 2019, the A7 III's out, but that came out after I got this, and once it did, I still didn't regret having this. I love the extra megapixels, the 4K is beautiful, the in-body image stabilization is incredible, eye autofocus is an absolute heaven send, no joke, love that stuff. And I coupled it with the Tamron 28 to 75, that way when I have this on me, I never need anything extra, I've always got a great lens. This thing is tack sharp, and for the price, it's unbeatable, so this pair is always with me. I have a few other prime lenses but when I'm just going day to day I just have these two things and I get incredible stuff no matter where I'm at I love this guy it's a workhorse all right the last top pocket here is just a bunch of hard drives I have my photo drive and then I have my time machine backup my media drive my backup drive all in here and my video drive these all stay with me because i like being able to have all of my work wherever i go so i can get anything done i don't need anything extra i've got it with me so that's why i keep these with me wherever i go so that's the main compartment here all right so the next part here is super cool because it actually opens up all the way so if you're going through like tsa you can completely and totally unfold your backpack so in this midsection i have my handy dandy old faithful moleskin notebook love taking physical notes had this for a couple years it's really cool looking back through the years and seeing all the things that have happened in my life like taking physical notes no matter what it is i think that's a great way to go and then also in here i've got my ipad pro 11 inch this is a sleeve i found on amazon like i said links will be below it's from tom talk it's leather and suede and i think it's super cool and it also was under 20 bucks i think it was 18 so that's really cool plus it helps keep my ipad protected uh, but this ipad pro 11 inch is amazing i've been using this constantly and i usually only take this instead of my my laptop if i'm fully honest uh, because most of the work i can get done on this and i just like using the new os it's also incredible to finally have external drive support i just feel like that new os beta is great so love taking this with me love using this thing great machine, wonderful tool. And then lastly, in this midsection, just one other thing, it's my Satachi USB C Hub. There's a reason everybody recommends this one. It's because it's the best out there. It's got three USB 3.0 ports on the front, a HDMI port, Ethernet, USB-C 
pass through so that you can have like your charging and all that jazz going on, a micro SD card and a SD card slot. So all of my ports and it only uses one USB 3 port on the MacBook Pro, great USB-C hub. All right, the last back pocket here, we have my computer and that is a 2016 MacBook Pro. So the nice thing is that back zipper is also padded, so I can just throw this in there. It's got room for a bigger computer. This 15 inch fits with plenty of space, uh, but this is the 2016 model. I just got it this summer, uh, and honestly the reason was the research I found didn't show that the 2017 or early 2018 models were enough of a reason to spend all that extra money. So I went with this guy. I got this real wood skin from Slick Wraps. Not sponsored, just thought it would be cool to have a wood skin on the top of my laptop but I love this thing it's a workhorse and it's pretty much what I use for all of my intense batches of photo edits for like professional client work any of my YouTube work is still done on here I haven't fully transitioned over to the iPad for video stuff yet although I really want to try that out but anyway guys that is pretty much it I know there's a ton of stuff here uh, this backpack like I said I will leave any kind of link I can find for it in the description below but if you want to see a review of any of these things or if you have any questions comment down below and if you use the Amazon affiliate links below that would be super awesome as it helps support this channel make sure you follow me for all sorts of updates on my Twitter and on my Instagram at ACDEBACA thanks so much for watching again and I'll see you guys in the next one